So here we are, it's 3D time at JVCM with Steve Carter. Hi Steve, how are you doing? Hello Phil, how are you doing? I think we can take these yeah. silly glasses off now. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously there's a serious side to this, we're looking at 3D uh, on the JVC stand. Now we're going to look at the projectors in a little while, mm -hmm. but first of all let's have a, a look at the TVs here. Now we've got you two behind us, we've got some other things, so maybe you can explain how this technology works and when it's likely to be coming from JVC. Well currently we have um the 46 inch which is predominantly now professional division so professional are currently selling it to our to their broadcast customers um, from the consumer side it'd be a little while yet before we get we get onto the bandwagon but we use um, Xpol technology so with Xpol technology what you have is those odd lines and even lines of any particular video image but um, what they do is they designate the odd lines to your left eye the even lines to your right eye so that is why you need to use the glasses to actually filter the correct video information for the left eye into the right eye we'll see the glasses are polarized and the screen is polarized to give us that effect now obviously we'll walk down and have a look at these other TVs um, but with a polarized filter on the screen yeah. Um, does that affect normal playback of, of other video material? Well, uh, currently on the model that we're using for the um, professional market, there is an option to switch from 2D information to 3D information. And um, what I can show you a little bit later on is an exciting new technology which is unique to JVC as well. Okay, Steve, so we're going to walk down to this TV here. And um, this is somewhere where people don't think about 3D technology, but it really is handy in CAD or CAD yeah. Uh, design. Yeah, so what we're showing here is an application for um, designers, whether it be for in, or in medical applications. So it's basically from a PC use and then just using it through a monitor. Because obviously um, it'd be superb if it was in a, a larger image, like maybe projection, but you won't have the brightness for a 3D image. So using it within a monitor for CAD design, it's superb. So this other one uh, that we're going to look at here, Steve, now this is actually 2D material which has been converted to 3D, is that right? That is correct. As long as it's a high definition signal, um, the content that we're currently using is a uh, de demonstration that's been recorded by our HD Avario camcorders. So it's conventional camcorder footage pushed through our 2D to 3D converter and then we're just showing it on two different screens. So one's a conventional LCD to show you the original 2D content and then the 3D content converted. So Steve, we've moved along the stand. We're now looking at two JVC 950 projectors projecting 3D. Now we can't go in the room because it's too dark, but how are you achieving this effect? Right, we have a PC connected and on that PC is a special 3D software. Driving that software is, or play, allowing us to play back that software is a special player, um, which will create 3D. There's two outputs from the PC via HDMI straight into the two projectors. In front of the projector are two lenses, 3D polarizing lenses. And in addition to that, we then need the correct type of screen to, to totally play back the image. So it's a silver-based back screen, um, which then gives you minimum dispersion, but better reflection so we can have an excellent 3D image. And is this something that you're likely to bring to market or is this JVC just showing that the technology is available and it's possible to do it? Yeah, predominantly it's a second, um, second option. So we're just showing that we can create this image and that 3D, even using conventional home projectors, is available. And do you think it's likely that we will see it on projection screens? Because that seems to be the big effect with 3D is the bigger the picture, the better it is. Um, all I can say is watch this space. Um, I really couldn't comment on it. don't know when, what will be the next step for us, I should say. So Steve, uh, I want to thank you very much uh, on behalf of the AV Forums members for giving us your time today and, and taking us through the JVC stand. And uh, join us again for another video here on avforums.tv as live from IFA.